But I'm wondering, what do you know about Hispanic population in Philadelphia, and also specifically about the Mexican uh, migrant population in South Philly? Well, we have a, a lot of Mexicans in, in South Philadelphia. We have a growing base. The, the first district is probably one of the most diverse districts in, in the, the whole city. Um, we have a real growing base beside the Mexican population, the Asian population, Cambodian, Laotian, uh, Vietnamese. Um, and uh, that's a, a population that I feel is underrepresented uh, and for two reasons. I, I think that it's a trust barrier and I also believe that they don't really get involved in the political process. Um, is it because we don't get them registered to vote or if they feel that if you register to vote uh, there'd be some uh, backlash to do that. Uh, our goal is to actually organize within the communities to make them feel like they're a part of the political process and let them realize by becoming that part that they will actually have a say in politics and also a say in what goes on in their districts because if you don't, not only politicians, but people do not pay attention to you. Mm. So we're going to try to reach out to every organization and um, I'm working now with uh, Maria to come up with a, a plan mm -hmm. on how to reach out to uh, different populations, especially the Hispanic population in, in the first district, to see how we could do that. Okay, that, that, that sounds great in theory, uh, but you have to keep in mind that a lot of these population are undocumented, you know? I mean, they can have yeah. rights to vote. So I'm wondering uh, how important is for you to satisfy uh, the concerns, uh, needs of these people who don't have uh, political uh, power, but then also, if not by voting, how can they get politically involved? All right, one reason, one way is vo voting, but if you remember earlier when I stated the uh, earlier statement, is getting involved within their communities, whether they're cleanups, you don't have to be a registered voter to go out when we have uh, block cleanups. Maybe to become block captains in their area, to uh, associate with the community groups in their areas, uh, to let them know that when there's uh, happenings going on in the community, they are a part of it. So whether they sign up to be a part of their community group or just be a part of their neighborhood, any neighborhood cleanup or any neighborhood activity that's going on. If, if we could get them to buy into the community concept, I think they feel more a part of the community, and um, that's something. It's a work in progress. Uh, I'm, and also, as a council person, you always hear a lot of people think that you know they know everything. My policy is: if anybody has ideas or concerns or ways to fix things, when you go to a lot of community groups, a lot of them have problems, and I'll say, "Okay, what do you think are some of the solutions?" So I'm also reaching out to the different communities and meeting with them and asking them to come up with like a five-year plan. Where do you want to see your community in five years? What would you like it to be? And how can I help you get there? Mm -hmm. So I may not know all the answers, you know, to get to that point, but I want to work within the communities to, to reach mm -hmm. that goal. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, let's talk about uh, numbers. Uh, we saw a huge, um, well, not a huge. <clears throat> we saw uh, a growth population in Philadelphia. It was really tiny for the matter, actually, but it was huge within the Hispanic uh, uh, population. <clears throat> Philadelphia grew up 0.6%, uh, that was it, uh, but Hispanic population uh, grew up 45%, and they now represent like 12.3% of the city. <clears throat> I know that um, uh, uh, District 1 was also a district that grew a lot in the last uh, uh, couple of years. So keeping this in mind, I wanted to ask you, what do you think is the role that the Hispanic community in District 1 in this will play in the years to come? Well, I think not only in District 1, but the city as a whole. Uh, it's, it's very important, I think, to, to, for the people to realize how their role is with the political process. And I know you say that a lot of people are undocumented, so they will not register to vote. <coughs> but the, uh, the way they play a role is by becoming active within their neighborhoods. Um, also, by reaching out to the elected officials to let them know what their needs are. Um, we have a lot of um, school issues, uh, edu our education that uh, needs to be worked on. We need help from some of the uh, Hispanic uh, communities to let us know what their, their concerns are within our schools. Um, we, we need to actually reach out and try to help the most I would say not only the poorest, but the people that 
don't get a good chance to get a good education. And um, I, I believe we can do that by reaching out to the community and seeing what their concerns are. Um, as a whole, the Hispanic population, I believe, just has to be organized. There are groups that are out there, and obviously the newspaper and uh, there are other areas to get information, but I think they need to actually organize and become more of a voice within city government so that people start paying attention to them. And it's the same with some of the other um, communities that I've been to, um, especially some of the ones in the lower South Philly area where I tell them you have to organize, but you also have to work together as a group to have one voice. Uh, one thing politicians do sometimes is you'll play people against each other. And uh, I believe that if you could get a solid voice coming from one community that states the same thing over and over again, then people start paying attention to you. Pay attention to you. And that's why I think the uh, Hispanic population needs to do, because they are basically not only in one uh, geographical area, they are spread out into several areas, even through my district, but also in other districts throughout the city. So it's good to be able to organize them all over the city to let you know what, your, what message you want to give. And then the, the pol political people perceive that as a voice from the whole Hispanic community.